Hi, it's me again, Micah. This is Wellspring Week 11. We're continuing the studies on having a teachable spirit. Today, specifically, we're looking at wisdom and the teachable spirit. For that, we're looking at Proverbs chapter 4, verses 10 through 13, and also chapter 4, verses 20 through 23. Proverbs chapter 4, starting with verse 10. Hear my son and accept my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. I have directed you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in upright paths. When you walk, your steps will not be impeded, and if you run, you will not stumble. Take hold of instruction. Do not let it go. Guard her, for she is your life. In verses 20 through 23, my son, Give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your sight. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their body. Watch over your heart with all diligence, for from it flow the springs of life. We're given some beautiful principles here and some promises here. But instruction is, in diff is difficult to receive. Leading is difficult to receive. For all of us, when my nephew started in t-ball and he was picked up from practice for the first time, my sister asked him how it went. And he said, good, except for one kid, that big one over there. He's way too bossy. And when my sister looked and asked, who, which kid? He said, the big one there. And my sister had to tell him, honey, that's the coach. Receiving instruction is difficult, but we're to expect to receive instruction from certain people in our lives. We're supposed to receive instruction from a coach. We're supposed to receive instruction from an official. You may be upset when an official tells you that you made a mistake or you did something wrong, but at the same time, you wouldn't want an official who's silent the entire game. That whole situation would descend into chaos. We need people to instruct us. We need people to lead us. We meet, need people to guide us. If we look at the world around us and we say the world is descending into chaos, well, why is that? Is it because the one who's supposed to be speaking isn't speaking or hasn't spoken? Well, God is the one who speaks to us primarily. He's the one who leads us. He's the one who is to guide us. He is the one that gives us wisdom. Where do we get that wisdom? Well, we see in these passages, my son, I have spoken to you. My son, I have directed you. We see that having a teachable spirit is necessary for our lives. And apart from having a teachable spirit and receiving what God says, we don't have wisdom in our lives and every element of our lives will descend into chaos. Verses 10 through 11, we see, this is what I say to you and that it will guide you. 2 Timothy 3.16 says, all scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correcting, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate equipped for every good work. So look at the benefits that we see here. We see benefits in verses 20, verse 12, verse 22, verse, verse 20. Many years of life will be added to you. Verse 12, you will run and you will not stumble. Verse 22, life and health will be given to your whole body. Now, here's a question to consider how your life, or invite your players, your athletes to consider in what specific ways their life will be changed if they listen to wisdom, if they listen to instruction, what improvements might they see in their lives. For all of us, we would say well, there'll be less tension if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Now, sometimes obeying and following creates tension between person and person, but it also blesses us with peace between us and God, and that's the primary primary piece that we're pursuing. Now also, we don't separate the teaching from God from God himself. God reveals himself, and 1 Corinthians 1.30 tells us, 
Jesus has become the wisdom of God. Now, Jesus relates to us as a brother, but he also relates to us through the Father. We see in these passages that God is speaking to us as a father to a son. He says, I want you to experience these rewards. I want you to run well and not stumble. I want you to have length of days. Now the length of days sometimes will play out for us in beautiful ways, and it will, but sometimes we'll still have short lives. But remember the words of Christ. I have come that they would have life and have it more abundantly. There is beautiful life. There is abundant life. When you get to Thursday, you're going to look at the difficulties of receiving instruction. You'll have difficulties receiving instruction from the people God has put in their lives to give them instruction. Coaches, officials, parents, teachers, traffic signs. There's all these things that we would rather ignore. And we know the chaos that comes when we do ignore them. So invite them to see how their lives will be improved by a relationship with Jesus. Listening to him and listening to the officials that he has put in their lives. Ask them specifically, where do you have trouble following instruction and, and listening to wisdom? Ask them how their teammates could help them to listen to wisdom and to follow instruction. And on Thursday, or Friday rather, have a review. Ask them what they know about wisdom, what they know about having a teachable spirit. Ask them what a, what a player or an athlete with a teachable spirit looks like and invite them to conform their lives to those truths. May you and your team be blessed. May you have a wonderful time in God's word together. This is Wellspring Week 11. May God bless you.